If you are any kind of an athlete, woman wearing high heels, or anyone who had micro trauma to your feet, you must pay attention to what I'm about to say to you. As you would probably agree with me, everything rests on your feet, right? Your feet carry you every day. They are the foundation of your posture, strength, balance, and mobility. And when you interrupt in any technically way the anatomy of your feet, you interrupt the function of the rest of your body. And how you take care of your feet will tell me a lot about your health and also your athletic ability. I would get a pretty good idea, I would say, how much compensations you technically generate and have up in a chain in your hips, in your spine, and especially your thoracic spine. When I perform a lot of assessments with the NFL athletes, I would check their abilities of dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. Those were the two that I really wanted to make sure I check first. And you would be surprised how many of them lack dorsiflexion and elasticity in their plantar fascia, which affected their push-off phase, right? And therefore their quickness and power on the field. That's why we had to apply a lot of drills and keep them part of their warm-up to maintain their elasticity in their feet and stability as well. And when speaking to you about elasticity of your feet, please allow me to ask you a one question. It's one of the things that show up in a feet injuries a lot. And it's plantar fibroma. Now plantar fasciitis, those are two different things. But the triggering event in the plantar fibroma is exactly lacking of elasticity in the connective tissue. Primary collagen type one. That's why when injury actually happens, your connective in anywhere in your connective tissue, collagen type three rebuilds. But since it's not as elastic as type one, you get micro trauma, which causes exactly that concept of fibroma, which usually, by the way, happens in midfoot. That's why collagen type one must be paid attention to by you by applying proper loading patterns to your tendons and ligaments, not just your muscles. And of course, you need to pay attention to it nutritionally as well. So I want to make sure that you take care of your body from the ground up and the elasticity of it, not just in your beautiful face, but also in your feet. And for that purpose, you do need collagen type one. There's of course way more that you need to keep your musculoskeletal system healthy than just type one collagen. And I absolutely invite you to read our newest blog, which is all about taking care of the deepest layer of your connective tissue, which is, which are your bones. And we explore a lot of things, how to take care of it nutritionally from the mineral point of view, and of course vitamins. But as you know, bone is the base of your skeletal system, but collagen also supports other parts of your connective tissue system, not just the deepest layer, but every layer of your body, your muscles, ligaments, tendons, and your skin as well. But again, not carrying myself away, make sure that you read the blog to get more information about how to take care of the deepest part of your body and your musculoskeletal system. And I do wanna share with you that our newest book is coming out within a week, so stay tuned because that will help you to take care of every layer of your body, not just the deepest and not just the most superficial in your skin, right? So the key takeaway from this message is make sure you consume type one collagen from your foot or a good source for standardized clinically tested supplement. And with that being said, remember we think it's here to help you live a healthier life.